All right, now that we've gone over some of the high-level concepts, let's jump into the Unity Editor and have a look. You can get the ML Agents project by going to Unity Technologies slash ML Agents. After you've downloaded it and imported it into Unity, you'll see a folder structure. Inside of the ML Agents folder, you'll notice that there's a folder that says Examples. These are going to be where the different example environments live. Today we're going to be talking about the push block environment. So let's find push block. You'll notice a folder that says scenes. Go ahead and open up the push block scene. I already have this environment open. And it should look like this once you have everything open. Once you have the project open, you'll notice there's a game object called Academy. On the Academy game object, there is a script called Push Block Academy. This is the Academy script for the scene. The Academy orchestrates the decision-making processes for the brains that are in the scene. And in addition to that, it also has some environment-wide parameters and variables that's used by different things in the scene. Let's walk through some of the settings. The first setting is Max Steps. This is how many fixed updates are going to happen before the Academy resets itself. When an Academy resets, it essentially resets everything in the scene back to the way it was whenever it started. If it's a zero, that means that there is an unlimited number of steps and it's not going to reset itself. Next, we have training configuration. This is the configuration that's going to be used whenever an agent is actually training. We can set the resolution, the quality level, time scale, and target frame rate. Out of all these settings, time scale is going to be the most important. That controls the speed at which the simulation is going to happen whenever an agent is training. You want to make sure that you don't set this too high, or it could just bog down your system and result in a slow and poor simulation. Next, we have inference configuration. Similar to the training configuration, you can set the resolution, quality level, time scale, and target frame rate. Reset parameters, we're not going to get into just yet. We're not using any reset parameters uh, for this environment, but if we were, they would be configured here. The next settings that we have are custom settings that we're using specifically for this environment. So agent run speed, this is going to be the speed at which the agents in the, speed can, uh, in the scene can run. We have agent rotation speed, which is the speed at which they can rotate. Spawn area margin multiplier, it's a terrible name for a variable. However, what it means, it is the percentage of the area that an agent can spawn. So, for example, 0.5 means that roughly 50% of the area here an agent can spawn. We have a goal scored material. We have a fail material. This is just a green and a red material. Whenever an agent scores or fails, the ground will light up with either a green or red. And finally, we have a gravity multiplier. This just increases gravity on a wake so that things look less floaty.